Behold, the Lord will come, and all his holy ones with him, and on that day there will be a great light. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. Our brothers and sisters, Father Chris here, welcoming everyone here to Mass with us. Today we're celebrating Mass for the first Tuesday of Advent. And so, um, before we begin, would everybody please at home some of your garden angels? Everybody here already has them here. Garden angel at my side, go to the church for me, kneel in my place of holy mass where I desire to be. At offertory in my stead, take all I am and own, and place it as a sacrifice upon the altar throne. At holy consecration's bell, adore with Sarah's love, my Jesus hid in the host, come down from heaven above. And when the priest communion takes, oh, bring my Lord to me, that his sweet heart may rest on mine, and I his temple be. Again, brothers and sisters, welcome. Let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And Almighty God, have mercy in us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Look with favor, Lord God, in our petitions. And in our trials, grant us your compassionate help that consoled by the presence of your Son, whose coming we now await, we may be tainted no longer by the corruption of former ways. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, a shoot shall sprout out from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide, but he shall judge the poor with justice and decide aright for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be the band around his waist, and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then the wolf shall be a guest of the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together with a little child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall be neighbors. Together their young shall rest. The lion shall be paid like the ox. The baby shall play by the cobra's den, and the child lay his hand on the adder's lair. There shall be no harm or ruin on all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be filled with knowledge of the Lord as the water covers the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse shall set up as a signal for the nations. The Gentiles shall seek out, for his dwelling shall be glorious. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice, Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. O oh God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice, Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace to the moon is no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice, Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. He shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Justice, Justice shall flourish in his time 
and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever, as long as the Son, his name, shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed, and the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Just as shall flourish in time and fullness of peace forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Behold, our Lord shall come with power. He shall enlighten the eyes of his servants. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to the Lord. Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. For although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son, who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to the disciples in private, he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, welcome back. We're certainly in the Advent season. Things start getting turned in their head. You know, what do I mean? The, the crazy talk. I mean, you talk to people that don't get Jesus, never heard of Jesus, don't understand Scripture, certainly. Uh, you know, a normal person out there to say, hey, what do you know of God? You know, most people kind of, I mean, they've heard of Jesus. They've heard of God in many cases. Many people don't believe. Some do. You get this wide range. But at this point in the year, it's like you start hearing these crazy things like this little boy who's a king. This little boy, and not even a boy, an infant, a child. I mean, somebody that couldn't possibly reign as king because he's too young, you know. Uh, and so we started hearing about him coming to the world. We hear about these other things in the book of the prophet Isaiah. Now the church is choosing these deliberately to start getting us thinking about in a different way. I mean, you read about how um, a calf and a lion are going to browse together. Let me tell you something. You know as well as I do. The only way a lion's going to bray or graze with a calf is if he's grazing on the calf. <laughs> you know, that's how it operates in this world. The things are crazy. But the Lord is saying that at some point in time, I throw the prophet Isaiah, that at some point in time, things are going to be all peaceful. That even creatures that were designed to be carnivores or somehow another are going to be content with not being carniv carnivores. Um, uh, because they're not going to be killing other animals. They're not going to be eating people every now and then, as sometimes they, these things happen. Um, and so, so all this, everything's kind of turned on its head. And not only that, but before Jesus Christ came in the world, all we knew of God was, okay, God exists, God's all-powerful. I do believe that people in the Old Testament, if you really look at the Old Testament, would have said God is love. God is a loving Father, like a loving Father. But Jesus comes and literally calls him Father. And he does things that are amazing in my mind also, where he actually talks about this trinity of love. He talks about, he already starts off saying, Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit. And then immediately he's rejoicing in the Holy Spirit, but he's talking about the Father. So, so I'm like, these, these relationships, or this primary relationship that is central to everything in our belief system as Catholics. As most Christians would believe also that Jesus is God, that Jesus is the second person of the Trinity, Becoming a human being, that's the other central mystery. So these two are all combined, of course. You can't talk about the Trinity of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit without saying, well, the second person of the Trinity is also the one that, I don't know, the, the, uh, rock, paper, scissors, I don't know exactly how they figured this one out, but uh, Jesus is the one that came into the world as a human being. I'm not making light of that. I'm just, I do at times think, well, how did Jesus get chosen in this? How did the, how did the, how did the Son, why was he chosen out of the Father or the Holy Spirit? I don't know, but he deliberately guides us back to the Father and to the Holy Spirit. And so we have this cyclical uh, relationship between the three of them that has always existed. And we as human beings are encouraged to be in the middle of that. We truly are encouraged to be in the middle of that. So maybe this is where we are this Advent to, to call upon uh, the Father and the Holy Spirit and then the Lord Jesus to help us to understand uh, this magnificent relationship these three have always shared for all eternity going back. Um, so the, as far as I'm concerned, that summarizes the three giant uh, uh, relationships or, or mysteries, as I mentioned, in, in, in the Catholic Church. 
that God has always existed, that God has always existed as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and that at some point in time, God, second person, also is unified perfectly with a human being uh, to where he actually had two souls, God's soul, human being's soul. Very important we get that as Catholics. If we don't get anything from the Bible, if we don't get anything uh, from anything that we see about the Catholic Church, that in itself should be the one thing, if nothing else. Well, okay, three things, three and one, you get it, I get it. It's a mystery in that respect. We really can never know God. But that's the beauty of heaven. I just read that recently. The beauty of heaven is the fact that we're never going to know God, but in the depths of us working and, and trying to understand, it's always new. It's always beautiful. It's always a, it's always just like when you learn something really cool for the first time in science or whatever it is where you're like, ooh, that's pretty cool. Never thought about that before. No. <laughs> and that's God and it will never end. So may we always turn towards God, especially in Advent, to start turning towards the Trinity to say, Lord, you need help us. We need your help always to become who we're supposed to become based upon who you already are and you desire for us to become. My brothers and sisters, let us now lift up our intentions to our Lord. <clears throat> For the intentions of Pope Francis, for everything our church is doing, that all people might know of the Trinity and about the Trinity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. Lord. For our secular leaders to lift up the dignity of the human person based upon their role, their job, uh, we pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. Lord. For all of those who risk their lives for us, for the police, the firemen, the military, uh, and everybody else, I'm forgetting about first responders, the list goes on, but everybody that their deliberate role is to help other people in crises, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord be our prayer. prayer. Also, our mass intention for our mass intention for today, I almost, almost forgot it completely. Uh, today, 1st of December, for Jerry Thibodeau and his family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord be our prayer. prayer. And also for our mass intentions for today, and this is inclusive of everybody in this mass intention hotline. Uh, but for today's, today, in, by name is Grace Frank and Carolyn Lawson, Stacy and Danielle, Mary, Laurie Rivers, and Ellis Bordelon and their families, we, and everybody else on the list, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord be our prayer. prayer. And for what else should we pray for this day? For those who do not believe in God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord be our prayer. prayer. For special intentions and in thanksgiving, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you for hearing all these our intentions from the bottom of our hearts, those things that we struggle with every day, those that we mention. Uh, we ask for always for your guidance, your inspiration, and your love that we might continue to pursue you as you would have us. In your name, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For to the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Humble spirit and country of our message. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the soul of church. Let's zone for a second. Did I lift up the challenge on that one? No. Okay. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. I should ask that question before I zone for a second. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and through Christ our Lord. For you assumed it is first coming the loneliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us a way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Mary Magdalene, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead not into temptation, temptation, but deliver, deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and the, the glory are yours, yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with Amen. your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace, peace, everybody. Peace, peace, peace. peace, peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, and not worthy, you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Those of you at home, please join me in an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you, unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen indeed. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. St. Michael, Michael the Archangel, Archangel defend us in battle. battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. Do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, for the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, for all throughout the world, seeking the world's souls. Amen. God bless you all. Have a great day and a great rest of your week. Thank you, Father.